Okay. We're rolling. Okay. So this is a one and a half year old healthy adult liver. And you can see it's just super red. There's no whiteness. I cut the gallbladder out here. Um, if we slice it open, it's just red inside. This is the grow outs. And so this grow out group, about half of them died of a bloatish diarrhea. Um, and in our past experience with blow, our rabbits will have healthy livers. So we weren't expecting to find but some if of you this. look at these guys, like right here, there's a white line. And there's mm -hmm. more. All of them I saw a couple spots. If you look right here on the lit on the edge, there's a white dot right there. Mm -hmm. Um there, it's not really crazy bad. It, this one you can see a little squiggle of white. And this spot I cut open earlier, and it goes down through the tissue. You can see it working its way through the vasculature. And this is something that if you're new to this, you're probably not going to catch it. This is something a trained eye is going to have to catch. So this one looks pretty good, but when you start looking at it, right down here, you see one of the white spots. Mm -hmm. And then there's one right here. So a really sick rabbit could have white spots all over the livers, but these guys weren't showing signs of being ill. And I'm they not, survived and the they survived that the their blow. siblings did not. Um, so what that tells me is uh my best guess on the what happened with those the rabbits that died was they had intestinal coccidiosis that led to bloat and this is what's called hepatic coccidiosis but it's just mild signs of it um but it's enough evidence for us to want to go ahead and treat after our next batch of calling for coccidia um, one thing to know is even if your rabbits have these livers like this, the meat is still safe to eat. Not the liver, though. But not the liver. But this adult probably has immunity, so they can gain immunity after mm -hmm. having it when they're young. Because um, she doesn't have mm -hmm. any signs and of it. In general, a healthy herd and healthy rabbits will have natural immunity to coccidia that exists uh, just normally. So... Um, cut that open. Let's see if we see anything on the inside. Not really. What about this spot? So the, here's a spot a where you see something. a bunch of white. It's kind of like out on the edges. So the liver is a filtration system and it's going to catch all of the little bacteria, debris that's floating around inside of the animal. And then they just make these little scar tissue pockets. Mm -hmm. There's the gallbladder. There's another one. Same thing. You can see the blood vessel right there I cut through, but there's a little tiny bit of white. Let me get a better angle. On. See the white right there? That's one of those little pockets of it. A lot of times you'll see them um, on the edges first. So here's one right here on the edge. See that little white dot? That's what you're looking for. Yeah, and you can see that is small. That is something I would not have caught, and I would have put these in my freezer as normal. I might have caught one, like the worst one. Got all three of the little. Yeah, so it. this dark red one is normal, but these other livers This can be all have young signs. liver. Like this would not just in yeah. general the color. Yeah, this of color these isn't. Is not... Yeah, so this liver right here is normal. Then this color, like in parts of this, it looks mostly normal. Um, it's when you look more closely for those little abnormalities where we see right here. See this. that? Yes. And there's one right here. Yeah. So if you cut them open and. Coccidia isn't like a parasite that you can see with the naked eye. It is microscopic. It's a single cell organism, um, so but it's still is, a parasite. This is scarring that you're seeing from the parasite. Yes. And it can get really bad where there's just it is literally just... circles mm -hmm. of 
And sometimes it can still give a rabbit a bad infection and not show up so much on the liver and the rabbit can still get really sick from it. So this is enough evidence to tell us that we have coccidia and we need to do something about it. Yeah.